This topic is called customary unit conversion with mixed number values. That's kind of a fancy name for just figuring out what's what. We're going to convert some stuff. And this table is really important. Putting this table in your notebook is going to be really, really helpful because you'll be using it a lot for more than just this topic. Let's look at how it works. So we got a jar, it holds three and a half cups of water, and we want to know how many fluid ounces that is. Okay, so I'm going to guide you through the, in the uh, explanation here so you can help decipher what it's talking about. From the table, we st we're starting with cups, right? And we want to go to fluid ounces. So we need to look over here at the cup, and we can see that that's equal to eight fluid ounces. One cup is eight fluid ounces. That's where they get this information. So that means in three and a half cups, then there's three and a half times as many, right? So we just have to take the number of cups and multiply it by eight. Makes sense, doesn't it? If we have one cup is equal to eight, then two cups is equal to sixteen, three cups is equal to 24 and then we've got another half cup a half cup is equal to 4 right so that's where we get 28 or in this case we can change 3 and a half to 7 halves by saying 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 makes 7 and then we multiply 7 halves times 8 over 1 that's 56 over 2 and that's where they get the 28. So any of these processes are just fine. Getting to the 28 is key because that's our answer. So that's kind of a long explanation, but I want you to know all of the details for each step. Now, we're, there's lots of information in this table, so some of our problems, we'll look at another one here, some of our problems use different parts. So in this case, we're talking about 8 feet of fabric, and how much is this? in yards. Okay, so 8 feet, that's a length, isn't it? So if we look at our table, we go to the length, and we're starting with feet. So we're starting with one foot, and we want to go to yards. Well, this tells us it goes to 12 inches. That's not what we want. But if we look at yards, it says that's 3 feet. So a yard equals 3 feet. Now, how do we know if we divide or multiply? Well, we're going from yard to feet, right? And so in this case, we have to divide. We don't have, a, we don't have multiple yards, we have feet, so we're going backwards. In the previous example, we went from cups to ounces, so that's going to be a multiply. If we go backwards in this case, it's a divide. So we're going to divide 8 by 3. You can do this long division and get 2 and 2 thirds yards as your final answer. Okay, time to practice. Now, I hope you have this in your notes because you're going to need it for the next example. Pause the video, work out the problem, and I'll reveal the answer in a moment. Okay, welcome back. Here's your answer. 13 feet. If you didn't get that, check the steps here and see where you made your mistake. Then get on your pie and practice to mastery. Good job.